It's April now and with airline stocks down a ton in the last two months, you might be wondering, is now the best time to start investing in airlines? Or if you already have airline stocks, is now a good time to buy more? In this video, I'm going through all the factors that you need to consider. For example, Warren Buffett's recent sale of Delta and Southwest Airlines stocks, the bailout package, the assets and liabilities of airline companies, as well as the future outlook for air travel as an industry. Now, let me make this clear. This is an unprecedented time with regards to both air travel and the economy as a whole. We've never seen anything like this before. So the logic of Hey guys, look at all these airline stocks. They're super discounted right now. Now is the time to buy. It's just a bit more complicated than that and not that straightforward right now. So while I would apply that logic to many, many companies, I don't think that logic necessarily applies to airlines right now, just with the way everything is going for them. Airline stocks are under pressure right now because the federal government is being very strict in their negotiations over the bailout funds. We've all heard about the $2.2 trillion stimulus package that was signed into effect on March 27th, which did allocate a generous amount of money to help support the airlines. Now it seems like the airlines are going to have quite a few restrictions in actually accessing that money. And that's why the stock has fallen quite hard on the morning of April 13th. And I do think that there might be more repercussions from these negotiations. So specifically, the government is saying that airlines need to pay back 70% of the $25 billion in cash grants that they are being given. They'll basically be treating these as low cost loans for a 10 year term. So in other words, 70% of the aid would be in the form of a cash grant and the remaining 30% would be given as a loan. In addition, airlines would have to offer 10% of the loan amount as warrants. This basically means that the government has the option to buy equity in the company at a set price and at a set time. So the government's like, here's a grant, here's a short-term loan, hopefully that gets you through. And if it does, you need to repay us by giving us just a little bit of your company. Airlines are also unable to buy back their stocks or pay out dividends to the investors before September 2021. So yeah, those are the current events that kind of led to this big drop on April 13th. And while it seems like the rest of the market has rebounded quite well in the last week or two, airlines have not. So let's go into some other factors that you should be looking into if you decide to buy airline stocks. One of the largest headlines in the past few weeks regarding stocks was on the fact that Warren Buffett sold off a large portion of his Delta and Southwest stocks. Warren Buffett is the king of investing, the founder of Berkshire Hathaway. So whenever he makes a drastic move like this, it makes the news and it creates a ton of press. It also makes people wonder, why did he do that? Should I follow suit? So we'll definitely explore that in this video. On Friday, April 3rd, Berkshire Hathaway stated that they sold off 18% of their stake in Delta Airlines and 4% of their stake in Southwest Airlines. People were speculating why they would do this as they had just purchased Delta and Southwest stock on March 3rd, just one month prior. People were saying that they did this solely to get underneath that 10% ownership, which means that they don't need to publicly disclose when they sell or buy that stock. This is a rule in the markets where if you own over 10% of a company, you need to file notice to the public whenever you do buy or sell that stock. Now, I do think this is part of the reason why he sold his stock. However, it's definitely not the whole reason. Warren Buffett is a very smart guy who knows the markets and knows how to read financials. So he probably saw something in the financials of Delta and Southwest, which made him quite uneasy. And that's probably what led to him actually offloading a bunch of these airline stocks. So first, let's go into the reasons why he might have sold in regards to the financials of Delta Airlines, because he sold a lot of Delta. If you look at the balance sheet of Delta Airlines, you can see that their current cash is at $2.9 billion and their net receivables is also at $2.85 billion. Current cash means the amount of cash that they have in their bank account as well as their short-term investments. And net receivables is how much money that they are owed. This means that their current cash is at $5.75 billion. Now, technically, they also have $1.25 billion in their inventory. So let's say that they could liquidate that for about $250 million, which gives them a total of about $6 billion in cash. Now you might be wondering, how did I go from $1.25 billion in inventory to $250 million? Well, they won't be able to sell all that 
And even if they wanted to, I don't think many people would be buying their inventory right now. If they can weather through the storm, then yes, maybe they can sell it off for more in the future. But right now we're focusing on the short term because the question in the short term is whether or not they can actually survive this pandemic. Another important thing to look at is their air traffic liability, which currently falls at 5.116 billion dollars. Their air traffic liability is the current amount of tickets that they've sold but haven't yet flown. Why is this important? Well, on April 3rd, the same exact day that Warren Buffett sold off a large portion of his Delta and Southwest stocks, the government basically said, hey airlines, you need to refund customers their full money in cash. You can't just give them credits on a future flight. Because up until that point, most airlines had actually just been giving people credits back and that actually helped them out because they could hold on to that cash. However, now they're being forced to process a full cash refund. This is very bad because it's going to affect their short-term cash flow significantly. Now, of course, I don't think everyone's going to ask for a cash refund or get a cash refund, but let's say that 80% of people do. This means that they're losing $4 billion in their current assets. So let's take their current cash of $6 billion and subtract that $4 billion that they have to give back to customers. With that, we're left with just $2 billion in current assets. So now what do we do with this information? We know that they have about $2 billion in current assets. Now we have to look at their operating expenses. So if you look at their yearly operating expenses, you can see that it's about $40 billion in expenses per year. If we divide that by 12, we get a monthly operating expense of about $3.3 billion. This is the average based on 2019. Of course, expenses are going to be cut dramatically as airlines are grounding their planes, flying a lot less, and also laying off lots of people. But still, even if they can only reduce their operating expenses to let's say $1 billion per month, that leaves them with just about two months until they run out of money. The point is, Delta is in a pretty bad spot financially and things are very, very tight. Delta could definitely run out of money and that's why the stock is particularly risky at this moment. It's also important to look at the future outlook for air travel. How long do you personally feel it will take for air travel to get back to normal? I do think air travel will bounce back as a whole, but I do think it's gonna take a long time. In regards to other parts of the economy, I do think that travel and vacations are going to be a lot slower to come back. The first thing people do when they get out of quarantine isn't gonna to be to hop onto a plane and go on vacation. They're going to try and get back to work and other industries are going to bounce back quite a bit faster than air travel. This is also because travel is a luxury for most people. And as a result, I do think that travel is going to see a huge hit in revenue for at least the next year or two. Even if airlines do survive, even if cruise lines do survive, I think the revenues are going to drop dramatically. As a result, that's going to affect their earnings. And of course, that leads to a lower market valuation. That's why right now you can't just look at the value of these airline stocks and think, wow, they're like 60% under what they used to be. This has got to be a good time to buy. It is a good deal if travel bounces back to where it was. But right now, people are traveling like 95% less than they were before. So the question is, when will that bounce back happen? And what if they go bankrupt before that does happen? Or the bailout packages have further restrictions which reduce the share price. So we do kind of need to imagine what Buffett was thinking when he sold off a large portion of his Delta and Southwest stocks. Because when he did sell these stocks off, he definitely lost money on it. And it's crazy because Delta and Southwest are actually some of the more stable airlines right now. It's an industry where, yes, there's lots of money to be made, but there's also an extreme risk and huge costs as well. It's a highly leveraged business dependent on demand where one business can't stand out from another in many ways besides just having a lower price. So with all the airlines competing on price as well as their huge fixed costs and running costs, they're extremely reliant on revenue to survive. No one expected a hit like this where everyone was just staying at home all day. I mean, it's not easy for small businesses either, but if we're talking about a company that has such huge fixed costs like airplanes, as well as employing millions and millions of people. Right now, it's a huge money pit. So now, what should you do in regards to airline stocks? Before you guys invest, I wanna encourage you to do your reading, do your research about airlines in general. Things are happening so fast, and we have new updates pretty much every single day. The information that I present in this video is just based off my own research. And the opinions I express are just my own opinions, and you shouldn't take them for fact. How much of the recent price drops are a result of 
terrible consumer outlook. And how much of this outlook is already priced in? Really, nobody knows. We don't know how much more bad news can be absorbed by the current low price already. And that's why it's very hard to decide if right now airlines are overpriced or if they're undervalued. I think that with the bailout money and hopefully they can come to some favorable term, then airlines should be able to withstand the shock to the industry as a result of COVID-19. I don't personally think the government is going to allow any of these huge airlines to go out of business, but really who knows, it's a numbers game. And if the numbers don't make sense, then that's when companies actually go bankrupt. One thing for certain though, is that travel will be negatively impacted in the long term. I personally do own airline stocks and upon my research, I think what I'll be doing is just averaging down. So if the market continues to fall, I'll just keep buying airline stocks. However, I won't be investing a majority of my money in airlines just because of how risky it is. And also based on my research into the financials of like Delta and other airlines, it's just a bit too risky right now because right now it's looking like their financials are very tight and we don't know how this is all gonna play out. If I see a time where it looks like the airlines are getting back up and I think it's a great time to start investing in airlines, I'll definitely make another video. And in that video, I will list the reasons why I think it is an appropriate time to start investing in airline stocks. But for now, take it as a risky investment where you could lose your money or you could make money. If we look at it from a very long-term perspective, I still think that investing in airlines could be a good idea right now. But I also think there is a lot of uncertainty and I do think that airlines can continue to go down. That's why I'll be averaging down until I think I see a rock bottom price. And that's probably when I'll start to invest more of my money in airline stocks. As for now, I think there are other stocks which could be safer and give you a better guaranteed return on your investment. So yeah, those are my thoughts on airline stocks, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have a friend who is thinking about investing in airlines, make sure to send this video to them. And if you found this information useful, make sure to give me a like and also subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos just like this. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.